Shut up and sit down. Ken Wood Chef. Today we're going to be fixing this machine. And let's see how it all works out, eh? To be honest, I wasn't actually able to fix this myself. Ah, yeah. And this is where it all went wrong. But I managed to get it sorted and got it fixed. So stay tuned to find out how it all happened. What happens is that when you turn it on, you might have a little rush of power and then the little round thing, the thing that spins, will spin just a little bit, and then suddenly it stops and nothing happens. So we need to open this up and have a look inside and see what components needs to be swapped out. After opening it up, taking out two of the components is this small one that goes here and uh, the bigger one is there. Yeah, okay. that. Yeah, so it's like this, and I see that this one's completely kaput. And then I see that this one here looks like it needs to be looked after as well. And this one I thought was okay, but when I took it out, you can see that it's also starting to crack and go a bit more strange on me. Now the idea is to fix everything. So I did buy and I got something from this company and, and I thought I would get all the parts. Uh, I thought I was going to get two capacitors but I only ended up receiving this one which I had tried to replace but then I realized I had other parts that also needed to replace it. So instead I had ordered an item from these guys and they have a whole kit. Alright, let's have a go. Alright, get my hot iron out. Let's try and melt this thing and get this thing out. Been at it for quite a long time now. Getting a bit frustrated. Get it out easily. Just snip it off. These two are different. This is more the top. This one then by elimination. This will be this one. This piece. Pretty secured. Okay, I'm gonna leave these things diving out because I might have to take them out again. I'm not sure. I'm gonna put a little guy. Okay, I'm gonna put the solder I can see I need to do. Now let's just put it back together and turn it on and see how that goes and see if I need to replace, I need to replace that and that.
Right, it was at this point that I realized that I wasn't very sure I'd done everything correctly. So instead of reviewing the video, which here shows me that I have actually why the incorrect I write this piece to there instead of using the middle. I just hold on my neighbor Strip upstairs and he uh, is a electric engineer so he managed to look at it and found out my error and he had very very kindly corrected me. Now I'm just here showing his handiwork that he fixed it for. Thank you! First example is the one that is original. Second example is my error that I had made, as you can see by the arrow pointing at that spot. And the third example is the awesome work by my neighbor Stuart, who has rectified my error, as you can see with another arrow pointing at that spot. Yay, the machine is fixed and ready to make more bread. So, just to show you that it actually is fixed, let's turn it on. Look at that. I'm very happy to report that now that the uh, Kenwood Chef is being fixed and I'm able to make a lot more bread. Thank you to my neighbor upstairs, Stuart. Uh, help me troubleshoot my errors and I really wonder what is going to be the next item that will be on my desk that uh, I'll need to have to fix. So, till then, see you next time.